Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. In this video, I am going to show you how to make a clean, simple and elegant variance chart within Power BI. You could use variance charts to compare performance between a target and actual set of values or budget and actual or plan versus actual values. And these are great for building uh, starting step of the conversation when you are building a big report to showcase the performance of a, a project or a business or something like that. Today morning I was watching a webinar uh, by Zebra BI and uh, Radacard from Rezarad and uh, Zebra BI's um, founder uh, was showcasing uh, variance charts built through Zebra BI tool and I wanted to actually make these but I'm not uh, very keen on adding any custom visuals to my, my Power BI. So I'm showing you how to build a variance chart through native features in Power BI. Of course you're more than welcome to try some other commercial options like Zebra BI tools or uh, any other custom visuals for that matter uh, but uh, you know just learning the techniques might be useful elsewhere as well. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this. So here is our variance right. chart. Uh, let me first quickly demonstrate what we have here. Uh, we have uh, some made up data by uh, some categories, subcategories and products. And uh, we are looking at what is the target versus actual sales uh, and variance in both absolute amounts and percentage level. So you could see the variance details at a category level, um, both the actual sales and the variance. So some categories have performed really well uh, and exceeded the target whereas other categories have not and uh, you can kind of click on something to see what is happening within that particular category and uh, look at individual products the top 10 products within that category by um, by variance and uh, uh, and look at that um, and when I say top 10 variance uh, what I'm using is absolute variance so you could see both positive and negative extremes in in one view without having to uh, go through that. There is also a tooltip to kind of uh, without having to drill through you can see by subcategory level how that has done and that might be very useful as well. So now let's go and understand how this is built. I'm not going to spend too much time on the measure front because these are all simple measures. Okay so we have the sample data here and um, as you could see there is a category subcategory product and uh, some target and actual values. So this goes on for 50 rows. Um, and I've built some basic measures like total sales, uh, total um, target and then um, variance is just a difference between sales and target, actual versus uh, target and then variance percentage is variance as against the target value and absolute variance is absolute value of that variance percentage. Now to create these charts it is very very simple. I'll show you the basic mechanism uh, and then uh, you can take the idea uh, and apply it to your own data sets uh, very very easily. So we will add a column chart or a bar chart. Uh, these are excellent for presenting variance information. I would start with uh, a bar chart if, if I'm going by categories but if I'm using something else like months or whatever then I would go with the column chart and uh, that's that's a good starting point. And here we will just uh, put uh, category and, uh, and actual sales uh, like this. Now notice whenever you add uh, something like this actual sales Power BI automatically sorts this so it will show me by category uh, but the order by sales. So this is the first chart we will uh, copy and paste this and uh, move it right next. In this chart we will just uh, switch to variance instead of actual sales so we, were, we are now looking at variance and this is also showing but notice the inconsistency of sort order category 2 is the top value in both but category 1 is actually here and category 5 is somewhere in the middle this is because both charts are sorting by their own value so this is sorting by my sales and that is sorting by my variance uh, one way to avoid this problem is you could either alphabetic sort on both charts but a better option is to stick with the descending order of sales thing here which is a more logical way of looking at it. So we can select the second chart and add actual sales as a tooltip uh, and then this will now give you an option to sort by actual sales as well. 
okay so this kind of synchronizes both charts uh, in terms of sort behavior on the axis level right once this is done uh, we want to apply conditional formatting on this chart to kind of show green versus red depending on what variance is good for you uh, select the chart go to formats data colors and click on that fx button if you are using an older version of power bi you may have to click on three dots that are here uh, but most likely you are already on up to date version and uh, from here instead of color scale just switch to rules and um, and so select the variance um, field as the rule now we want to write a rule based on the variance field if the variance value is greater than zero as a number and is less than um, and then you just delete that zero that becomes maximum so if it is anything positive then i want the green color now to get the green color it's not easy with the default theme you could either switch the theme but better option is to actually use a custom color i'm using the green color which has the hex code of 00b050 uh, and um, and then that is the first rule we will add another rule which is uh, is greater than and then we just delete so anything greater than minimum and less than zero that means all the negative values will take the red color you can use uh, that red color there and then we'll click OK and this applies the conditional formatting uh, to the bars we'll select the main chart and uh, go to data color and make it uh, somewhat dull uh, so that the focus will be here but these numbers give you context the second thing that uh, you want to do is these bars are big but these bars need not be that big so they should kind of pale in, in com comparison with this in size that will give you a better uh, readability so uh, to do this uh, you will have to go into the axis settings this is y-axis so we go to y-axis there uh, and uh, you will have to fiddle with these values I think an inner padding of 50% will give you that effect um, there is also these other values uh, for example if you toy with one of these you will get a very big bar um, likewise uh, I have no idea what that is but uh, that is also there uh, and um, that's that the next thing that I also want to do is I want to remove this particular axis altogether so we'll remove the y-axis here is the annoying part if you turn off the y-axis power bi insists on keeping that variable there in the category name uh, I think this is all really poor UI design in terms of uh, how this is done but hopefully these are like uh, small annoying things that will get fixed in future versions of Power BI. So we'll get rid of that as well, the y-axis title. Uh, similarly, I want to remove the word variance from the x-axis title. That should be self-explanatory at this level. So we will remove that as well. Um, and finally, I want to remove the chart title. Uh, and we will remove some of these, uh, repeat some of these steps on this side of the chart as well which is uh, to go to x-axis and turn off the title go to y-axis uh, turn off the title as well and then finally no title on the chart okay so at this stage this is how the whole thing looks we will look at the main chart look at the side chart uh, we'll position that right next and then size it so that it's not too big but it is uh, you know it is in a comparable size with respect to the main chart and then we can select both of these using control you can hold and select multiple charts and right click and group them now you have created a variance chart this is actually a group so what it means is you can move them together um, <laughs> uh, of course uh, you can move them together and then you can also uh, size them together so this is actually very good for building a red report or a dashboard so you can apply the same technique for a table level visualization as well uh, in the table i've used variance percentage so we will add that as a field in the table uh, and then apply conditional formatting data bar uh, with positive bar in green color negative bar in red color so that you can see that so this is how you can create a simple clean and elegant variance chart in power bi i hope you found this particular uh, tip useful uh, give it a try and uh, please share your feedback in the comment section thank you bye bye